Hello darklings, my name is Sunnies and I'm back and this time it's a sheen haul and it was for Keen. Uh again I haven't bought that much this uh, latest months of different reasons but some of the things I need and some type of things are the cheapest to use for my creations too so if you want to know what I bought this time stick around but first don't forget to do the usual stuff and see you soon Hello darklings, my name is Sanis and as, as I said it's a Shein haul and it's actually the same order but I got it in two parcels. But first I'm gonna open them and then I'm gonna show what I got. So stick around. First we're gonna start with uh, the liquid eyeliner, waterproof. And this one I really like and I am on my last one. So this is actually just to have one in spare because I can't get it in Sweden and it's on a sheen that got it and I do love that one. It works perfect at least on me. Next items are actually for making jewelry. And uh, it's those small pieces you put behind beads to make it look a little more luxury I guess we could say and you know that I like to create my own jewelry so that's why and because I always run out of those because <laughs> I do like bats and I use a lot of bats in my jewelry too even when I give away things so anymore and she didn't have actually a really good price and to Put myself in a better corner when people say you should buy from Shein and blah 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 buy for independent things I have seen the same type of things on Etsy that I crave to buy stuff from Shein and I have also seen on those sellers what they put for price on the finished products that not always is an extraordinary one they just put on some of those type of things on the chain or whatever and then I take a uh, hilarious price for it and I don't think that's fair either because I know they haven't paid that much for them things so if you're gonna take a lot of money for being an independent one at least do something more creative with the things you sell don't just put on some of those type of things and some beads and then you take a lot of money for it because you haven't bought the things even for a fifth of the price you have made them for so that's my thing and uh, the last item is not really for do it yourself it's more for wearing is earrings so i'm gonna see if i can get this open because it's a little bit of, it's kind of stuck and i need to see that i don't drop the, those small plastic things that fall off but i want to show and they're actually from the wrongly collection and these earrings and it's like a raven skull in black this time and i thought that could be really great too for a gothic outfit and i didn't pay that much for it so i thought it was worth it and i do like my earrings it's one of the jewelry that i can carry a lot without any problem like uh, bracelets but else i have days that i can't even wear something too close to the floor even this shirt is some days start to getting a little too close so I have hard time with it I can wear heavy necklaces but I have days now that I actually can wear the necklace I have made that it's not that heavy so that works but they are also longer so that's why and then we're gonna go further now we come over to the most dress up thing and I actually saw this belt And you know that maybe it's not that like that the uh, quality you see on Etsy or on Killstar and all that type of things but I know that I'm gonna start losing weight next year because I have surgery coming hopefully at least I don't know what's going on because I still haven't get uh, any date for it but it should be before spring hopefully but I thought this one was really cute 
and it should work too. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna put it together with uh, an outfit. But I'd like to see, it got those moons and it got shades and it's got this leather and it's pretty big too. So I hope it's not too big because I try to see what type of things. But you can still make some more hole in the end that too. So. And if you're a little bigger, you can do more holes in the end so you can use the rest of the strip. But we have to see how that goes. And now I'm gonna take the cloth items. And you can never have too many of those. And um, she actually have for a very good price. And I think the quality works well too for me. And I don't mind if they go rips in it or something like that, stress things. Because that just make it more alternative, but you can never have too much of fishnets. And of course, I needed a warmer clothing too, and that's why I bought it because I really need to have warm things. I wait for this up the whole so it fits. Uh, it didn't have all the way up in the plus size section in the sizes, but. I know it's an oversized and it's this type of uh, very big uh, knitted ones that have those uh, stress parts with it. I'm gonna put the side when I have a try on to so you can see it but first I'm gonna film the other stuff so I know what's going on and uh, yeah I do like it and it even have those parts even uh, on the arms too where it's with the most stressed too and uh, the end of the arms also have this type of things and might be on some more places the, the back look like yeah it have not nothing of that on but uh, like i said the arms and uh, some bits in, in the front but it feels warm and it feels comfy so i'm looking forward because they said it can be a risk for being a very cold winter and even if some people still have fall, some people live in countries that still are warm. But I live in a country even if it's unusual warm for the period. So, and it's very rainy for the moment. So we have time when we run this time of year, actually have a lot of snow already. So you never know when you live in Sweden. So I better have something that looks great and actually fits me too. And even if I should lose some weight, so oversized you know oversized always look good so now we're gonna see what next item i bought i forgot to mention the knitted one was in 3xl too but i'm gonna put down every information in the bottom and if i can find a link for the swedish uh, version at least i'm gonna put that down too but things can be sold out so have that in mind it's not my fault if they disappear you do not get angry and next time is actually an oversized t-shirt with long arms so and uh, it looks a little bigger around the neckline in two so i don't have to redo it and it's a 4xl and <laughs> when i see it now actually maybe didn't have to order a 4xl but maybe i can use it as a very short press too but it has this very nice looking print on it that i love Nothing can go wrong with bat wings and the Grim Reaper and a lot of moon faces, I guess it is. So, we all are a bit magic, aren't we? So, it feels in the material, uh, what should I say? It feels soft and stretchy too. And uh, the print is vinyl, so I, I guess you should be a little careful when you're washing it. But if you buy this type of clothes, you already know. Turn them inside out and put them on low. And just hang dry them. That's what I usually do. And you shouldn't have directly any problem. But the print itself looks really good at least. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. But I think I still could get away with a smaller size. But like I said, sometimes you can have it oversized. And maybe it's this time I can actually maybe even wear it like a dress if I want to. But I don't gonna promise anything yet. You will see that on it. Try on how long it will be when it's on me. Because I still have boobs and shoulders and that type of thing. And now it's time for the last item. 
And the last item is an 4XL2. I might need the need to have that big one. It have a little different with the arms this time. It's like those. No, you do, and the, I think it was a bit open too, and it goes down in like in this type of things. And else is like an oversized big singola type of things that you can have off shoulders too I guess without problem I have something similar but not with this type of sleeves but like you can see it's bats pattern on it and I do love that type of pattern so and the length it looks okayish at this this way but we have to see what it looks like on the try on so that was the whole haul this time and I hope you like it and if you're new here and like my content please subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell too and uh, don't forget to give a like and comment and share and please darklings be safe be weird and love you all thanks for watching bye